my name is Noemi Carrillo, and I'm here today representing the community engagement sub-team of the Building for Equity and Sustainability Vertically Integrated Project here at Georgia Tech. Um, so most of our work is relevant to SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, as well as SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. And that's because we work with a community-based organization here in Atlanta, the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance. Um, and they're primarily um, focused on the three E's, that, so they say, um, the environmental education, environmental justice, and environmental stewardship. So these are three really important things for the Wawa. And so with that, we have been working on with them on a project that they have kind of spurred um, over the past two years that we've been working with them. And that is the construction of an outdoor classroom to expand their outdoor education spaces, as well as um, the continued practice of placekeeping and aiding them in that process. Um, so for the construction of this outdoor classroom, um, when it comes to the design, the idea came from uh, dis many discussions with Wawa staff as well as discussions with community members. Um, Wawa is situated in the Bush Mountain community in Southwest Atlanta, right next to Oakland City. Um, and it's a historically black community. There's a lot of rich history there. Um, and from that, the structure of the design was determined that it would likely be inspired by Afrofuturism and those aesthetics, as well as the life cycle or living building challenge um, and principles from that as a way to kind of connect the structure that we will construct at Guawa with Georgia Tech and the Candida building as a way of kind of encouraging the idea that students who live in this area can see themselves at Georgia Tech in the future, kind of trying to enrich that bond between the two places. Um, and as for the Afrofuturist aesthetic, um, it's mostly rooted in the reuse aspect of the, of the structure, which will be um, sourcing some of its materials from uh, the Lifecycle Building Center in Atlanta, which is a nonprofit that gets reused materials from deconstruction projects, basically. And so already we have some of those materials for the structure. And we see the Afrofuturist elements really strongly in the aesthetics, which will be coming soon as with, we have more discussions with community members um, about this topic. Um, but already it's on a great path because we're already in the permitting stage um, with the city of Atlanta since the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance is located, well, they stored the outdoor activity center, which is 20 plus acres of an old growth forest um, in a neighborhood, so city of Atlanta property. As for the placekeeping side of the project, um, that one is more focused around making sure that the history and stories of the neighborhood in which Wawa resides um, are really preserved and shared with the people. Because as this area is like rapidly developing, it is near the um, west side of the Beltline and it is gentrifying to some degree, um, it's really important to make sure that the history is shared with new members of this community, um, especially since there's so many visitors that aren't just field trips of children. And so in order to do that, we are using um, previously collected oral histories collected by a former Spelman student who was an intern at Wawa for a few years. And we're using those oral histories um, to place strategically across the forest in a kind of interactive trail marking system um, in order to share these stories in a way that's like more accessible. Because currently these oral histories are just on a uh, oral, uh, a Google Drive folder, which is not exactly like the most um, accessible place. And it also, they're like an hour long. So it's not exactly something that people would listen to in their free time. And we're doing this to kind of just like share information as well. Um, there will be um, informative trail markers that are more cost effective as well, um, talking about things like the natural history of the region as well as um, just the not, oh the history of the Bush Mountain community with more like book resources rather than just oral histories. Um, and that's about it for our project. Um, it's really been great to see the progress over the past two years. Um, and I think that's about my time. I don't remember, but yeah. Thank you. <laughs>